Hello everybody, welcome to MyDeck. MyDeck are the UK's leading supplier of non-combustible decking systems. The issue of addressing the remediation of cladding and balconies on our multi-occupancy buildings throughout the UK is challenging in scale, complexity and logistics and we recognise the pressure that falls on building owners and other responsible stakeholders to make this happen. When it comes to balconies, seemingly the less complex part of building remediation, the challenges are still many and varied and trying to address these without experience can be fraught with risk, unforeseen costs and hidden technicalities. Since 2019, MyDeck have been privileged to be part of the broad mission to enhance the safety of the apartment community and we applaud the efforts by so many to make this happen. We've drawn our motivation from the fundamental right of every person to feel safe and be safe in their own home. Since MyDeck brought the first aluminium deck board to the balcony market, we've been involved with hundreds of projects in both the refurbishment and new build sectors and are delighted that the equivalent of around 50,000 balconies have now been made safer through the trust that the market has put in MyDeck products. At MyDeck, we want to contribute to making your project a success. Through our guiding principles of safe, smart, sustainable, we provide technical expertise, unbiased and transparent collaboration, and a practical common sense approach based on experience to ensure you get the best results with minimum fuss. Here's what some of our customers have said. We are at uh, London Dock. Uh, this project is a residential project. The building is 17 storeys high. We have about 3,000 square metres of waterproofing over the balconies and terraces from levels 1 to 16. My name is uh, Neil Lyons. I'm the operations manager for AYM. I am overseeing uh, this project. The finishes are uh, decking by MyDeck, who's one of our main suppliers on this project. I've been working quite closely with Richard McMullen. He's, he's been very good, uh, very quick to uh, come back to me on, uh, on answers to technical issues. And so far we've had uh, a good working relationship. The product is very good. The install of it is looks very good. It's a high specification and it fits, fits nicely with the, the high spec of the building. Very pleased with the overall result. Yeah, look forward to this being the first of many projects like this. Castle Wharf, Chester Road, Manchester is a stylish development of 188, one, two and three bedroom apartments and penthouses in the heart of Manchester's Castlefield conservation area. Built by renowned Manchester-based developer Renica Build, the development is set across two buildings and features exceptional communal amenities, as well as benefiting from a unique waterside location. The spacious apartments have been designed with high quality specifications and finishes throughout, and the majority include a private balcony. MyDeck supplied the non-combustible decking to all the balconies and penthouse terrace areas. The decking on the penthouse apartments has a special stone effect powder coated finish, which was a premium option to reflect the quality of the apartments. Working with my deck has been really good through the all stages of the project, tender stage, getting them down to talk through the products, them explaining the product to us, samples that we needed, all that kind of stuff was turned around quick. And the actual build of the product, technical came down with any questions that we had. Materials were never an issue to get hold of. So yeah, the meeting of the guys and everything's been really, really good. I think it gives a quality finish. It looks quality to a tenant that's, or an owner that's buying a property. I think you can see from timber products out there compared to this, I think this is on a different level. I would recommend my deck to anybody out there using a, the metal product that they supply ultimately because they were helpful in anything we needed, quick response times, all that kind of stuff. When you're building a project as big as this, it's always good to, to have the best. And I think my deck are up there, 100%. The Combrook project consists of 280 apartments set across two blocks. My deck supplied grains with a decking material, which has been perfect for what we needed. It's an aluminium decking, uh, slip proof, uh, scratch proof and um, highly resistant to wear and tear. I think their decking tops the job off completely. Very aesthetically appealing to look at. It is very robust. Would I re recommend my deck to others? 100% yes. Uh, just through their sheer professionalism towards Graham's and even other trades, accommodating other trades. Oh, they've been massive really to Graham's. They've, they've helped us out a lot, probably more than 
most of the contractors on site, they've been really useful to us. Any problems we've had on site, which we have had a few problems on site, they've done the very best helping us with through phone calls, emails, any problems on site, they've been first there straight away to help us out. Uh, we couldn't really ask any, anything more from them. It's important to remember that it's not just the cladding that's been the cause of some significant fires on the external facades of buildings. There have been a number of fires that have been caused purely by the balconies being constructed from combustible materials with devastating results. Let's have a quick look at what the legislation says. In November 2018, the government issued the new legislation called Approved Document B and Section 10 deals with the external walls. Now the legislation says that there's any building that had a floor height of a minimum of 18 metres that contained a room for residential purposes must have materials on the external walls that achieve a reaction to fire class of A2, S1, D0 or class A1. In addition, in June 2022, there were some further amendments proposed to the legislation with the important following points. The proposal is to reduce the height from 18 metres down to 11 metres and to include rooms that are also used for educational and healthcare purposes. Specifically, balconies are also going to be required to have an imperforate soffit which extends the full area of the balcony and achieves a minimum REI 30 rating and is constructed of materials achieving A2, S1, D0 or better. So how are products tested for compliance and what does the classification mean? The Euroclass system, EN 13501, is the series of tests which materials must go through to test their reaction to fire. The tests compare how quickly a material catches fire, how fast the flames spread, how much heat is released. Does it produce any smoke or flaming droplets? It is accepted by all European states, including the UK, and which means it's a harmonised standard and there are no variations to the testing methods anywhere across the band of countries. There are seven classifications from A1 to F, but it's stated that anything achieving an A1 or A2 classification is defined as non-combustible. So what are the classifications? A1 and A2 are the products that do not contribute to the development of a fire. These are the ones that we're principally interested with. Class B products can come quite close to achieving compliance, but often they'll fail in the areas of emission of smoke or flaming droplets. In this space, we're not really concerned with materials which have a class C classification or below. A2, S1, D0, so what does this bit mean? A2 is the reaction to fire and it has very limited contribution to the fire, limited heat release and flame spread. S stands for smoke and under the legislation, S1 has a little or no smoke at all and D stands for droplets or flaming droplets and under the legislation there are to be no flaming droplets from the material to achieve compliance. Hi everyone, as Richard has mentioned, balconies add many and varied challenges to the process of creating a safer future. I'll take you through some of the challenges we've come across on the journey, more importantly how we've managed to resolve them. Challenges of changing substructure on cantilever balconies from timber to metal engaging with specialist partners and installers to carry out required design and specification as well as install. Construction depth challenges due to changes in insulation requirements, wide range of construction heights available in substructure design and bespoke solutions where needed. Rising material costs, early engagement to provide overall project scopes can enable significant cost savings such as aluminium billet deals or direct procurement with vesting of materials to fix pricing and leverage economies of scale. I'd like to cover off on access. Our innovation in this area is twofold. We have the fall arrest debris net we, we developed in conjunction with a couple of installers on some major UK high rise refurbishments, which save scaffolding the buildings. This is a fine mesh debris net inside a fall arrest net strapped up underneath the balcony to catch any falling debris. I'll briefly talk you through our MyDeck rapid access system this is developed in conjunction with some major contractors in view of replacing decking and balconies where the building didn't have cladding and didn't have a requirement for scaffolding for any other reason. So the system is developed to run from the top of a building with a 
access frame which can be taken up through a fire escape access and assembled on the, the roof of the building. A wire drops down and is attached to a man rider cradle which we've further developed to increase safety. The main innovation on this is the ladder system which goes up the side of the balconies ensuring that the man rider cradle is fully attached to the building at all times, especially important in areas of wind or exposed areas and also enables operatives to climb out of the cradle and into the balconies. This animation is showing us how the cradle climbs the building and attach the ladder track system as it goes. With the ladder track system now securely fastened to the vertical stacks of balconies, the cradle can then be raised and lowered in complete safety. We have the door bars being loaded, the decking boards being loaded, and the operatives climb in, shut the safety doors, and they can then gain access to the balconies, remove material, and replace material without having to go through the apartments. The door bar and the nets underneath are critical safety factor, the decking can now be raised, replaced with aluminium, the operatives can then safely go back down the building and dispose of the material as required. So we'll briefly cover over our three core products in the range. So we have the Luxura Mineral Fibre Composite Decking, we have our Aluminium Decking Range and then we have the Comprehensive Box Rail Support System Range. So firstly we have the Luxura, the new and unique mineral composite that's A1 fire rated. It looks and feels solid underfoot and has a natural timber aesthetic. Aluminium, the original solution, lightweight, easy to handle in a wide range of colours board designs that are suitable for cantilever or inset balconies. And then our substructure systems, both types of deck boards, construction heights from as low as 55mm to an excess of 500mm if needed. Our substructure systems are loved by installers, we've worked very closely with carpenters and metal workers to create something that's very straightforward and easy to install. In addition to testing for reactions to fire, all my deck products are put through their paces for load bearing, strength, slip resistance, and wear resistance. Replacing decking on your projects is a major task. It's important that the product delivers outstanding performance for years to come, giving you complete peace of mind. Impact testing in particular was a very interesting experiment. Just comparing a popular solution that is frequently used compared to the new Luxura mineral composite material. This was a pragmatic drop test done in house with the 20mm porcelain tile against our new Luxura mineral composite material. Early engagement is key. If you have any major remediation projects ahead, why not reach out for a free consultation with our team? We can explore the technical details, provide unbiased advice to reduce risk, increase efficiency, and contribute ideas that will lead to the ultimate success for your project. We look forward to working with you.